Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you may be. I never ask you to do this, but I'm asking you to like this video and to post links to this video on all, and I mean all, your social media accounts. I also ask YouTube to not monetize this video, to, to not place advertising on this video, and they promised to do so. We'll see. This is about Ukraine. This is about the brutal, unprovoked war in that part of the world. But this is not a political video. This is a call for help. We need you. I'm going to explain. In August, I'm heading to Ukraine as a volunteer to train local mental health practitioners, therapists, psychologists, and psychiatrists on how to treat post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, and other forms of trauma. Shell-shocked soldiers, victims of rape, victims of dislocation. I hope to treat not only individuals, but to restore whole communities, because communities are the main vector for healing. People can survive anything if they are embedded in the right environment with supportive friends, family, neighbors, and others. So there's a lot of work to be done. Almost one quarter to one third of a population have been displaced and had become refugees literally overnight. Children, old people, people whose livelihoods have been ruined, women who had been raped, people who had witnessed killings and death, I know this firsthand. I'm an Israeli. I participated in military actions. I lived in Ramat Gan, which is a suburb of Tel Aviv, in 1991, when Saddam Hussein had rained Soviet-made made rockets on our neighborhood. Literally all the buildings in my neighborhood were wiped off, except ours, <laughs> mysteriously and miraculously. I've been an internally displaced person. My first wife and I packed our things and together with a good friend, we escaped to the southernmost corner of the tiny state of Israel. But for many weeks, I've been cowering in the shelter in the basement with my first wife and all our neighbors, listening to enormous rockets exploding all around us. And when I fled to my parents, Near Haifa, which is the northern part of Israel, Saddam Hussein followed me and started to bomb Haifa and its environs. So I know firsthand how it feels. I have witnessed death on more than one occasion. And I've spent the last 26 years of my life studying trauma in various forms and the aftermath of trauma. Trauma in early childhood, trauma later in adolescence, in adulthood, personality disorders, post-traumatic conditions, anything from borderline personality disorder to psychotic breaks. I'm going to transfer this knowledge to the best of my ability to local practitioners, and then I'm going to supervise their work. I'm also going to participate, hopefully, in organizing a statewide operation of restoring communities to mental health. I'm going to be joining a team of great, wonderful, and generous people like Dr. Fernando of Harvard University, an expert on disaster medicine, and the amazing Australian therapist, Cherieka Ramirez. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to like this video, please. I want you to post links to this video on all your social media. I want you to spread the word. And why is that? because we need volunteers. If you are a mental health professional, a practitioner, a therapist, even a social worker, a psychologist, a psychiatrist, and if you want us, if you want to help us, if you want to help us alleviate the indescribable suffering of countless victims of this war, please write to me at samvaknin at gmail.com. That's Sam Vaknin, like my name, S-A-M-V-A-K-N-I-N, one word, 
small letters, sandvaknin at gmail.com. Please write to me, offer your services, tell me what you can do as a volunteer, tell me if you're willing to travel to Ukraine or you want to work online. Any help is welcome. But we need to get the word out about this operation. We've, we're just starting. We're starting in July. We're a small team, thin on the ground. The needs are enormous. We are not going to say no to anyone. Please help us help them. Another note on this uh, service announcement. I'm going to be in Bucharest, Romania, between July 1st and July 11th. So I'll be visiting Bucharest in the first 10 days of July. If you want to have a face-to-face -face counseling with me, please write again to samvaknin at gmail.com or drop me a direct message somewhere. Um, on Instagram, for example. My Instagram is Narcissism with Vaknin. If you want to organize an event for questions and answers, a minimum of 30, 30 participants, or if you want to attend such an event in Bucharest, Romania, in the first 10 days of July, I will be happy to do it free of charge and I'll be happy to see you there. Please, again, let me know. Write to me. I'm going to post uh, relevant email addresses and links in the description. Please follow them. And please, again, for the last time, like this video, spread the word, post links to this video on all the social media. YouTube promised me to not monetize this video and not place advertising on it. I really hope they keep this, this word. It would be extremely ugly if they don't. Ukraine is a political battle scene and a military um, arena. It's, this video is not about expressing any opinion as to who did what to whom and why. This video is about helping people, people in dire need. PTSD is a wound as egregious as any shrapnel. It is destructive to the soul. And the soul is a component of who people are, not only the body. People can be maimed and amputated and on death's bed. But if their spirit is strong, if their soul is intact, they're okay. We need, we need to heal these people. We need to cure these people. And we know how. There's a lot of experience in treating trauma and PTSD. There are numerous, extremely efficacious treatment modalities. We just need to teach or to help local practitioners get a hold of this fount of knowledge and use it. We're going to work in accordance to the WHO guidelines, guidelines that had been forged in places like Sudan and Rwanda and Sierra Leone and, and Israel and Syria in Afghanistan and so on and so forth. I myself had lived in most of these places and worked in most of these places. I'm, as I said, an Israeli, witnessed things firsthand. I've been advisor to the governments of Nigeria and Sierra Leone. I've lived in the Balkans during the wars. I've lived in Serbia in the 90s. I've, I've witnessed the carnage in the Balkan wars of, of secession between 1991 and 1995. I've witnessed it firsthand. I've visited refugee camps in Kosovo, in Macedonia. I know the field well. I hope I can contribute. I will do my best. I'm 61 years old and I'm traveling to Ukraine in August to try to contribute whatever I can. I'm ashamed that I haven't done anything else until now, except tweet and post. You should also Revert from words to action. Please do. Please write to me. Thank you.